Coming out of the cocoon, what we can learn from this transformational process. Somewhere on the other side of the world, a butterfly flaps its wings. And somewhere on the other side of the world, this causes a huge typhoon. This incredible impact is part of what's known as chaos theory. And chaos theory has certainly ruled supreme in the course of the last few months. Life had just started to settle down for us. After many years in the army, my husband had returned to civilian life, our children had started school, and things were just beginning to settle. That is until COVID struck. My husband is the director of the ICU at the local hospital and watched with great fear as we saw what was happening in China, followed by Spain and Italy, the hospitals becoming overwhelmed and the medical staff struggling to cope. And we feared the worst. Our fears increased when I picked up our youngest daughter from school and she had a very high temperature and I rushed her to hospital to be swabbed by the COVID team in full PPE outside of the hospital. My heart was racing quite fast at that moment. So we were living through a time of great uncertainty, a time of great fear. But what we know in that situation as in any other situation, is that while we can't control the situation, we can always choose our response. And I was reminded of this when I spoke to my lovely friend Nitha from Texas, who said to me, do you know what, Sarah, we're not calling this lockdown. And I said, what do you mean, Nitha? It's called lockdown. And she said, listen, our words, our language, has power and we're not using the word lockdown. I said, what are you calling it then? And she said, we're calling it a cocoon and we're all coming out of this beautiful butterflies. Wow, what a conversation. A seemingly innocuous comment actually had the power to totally transform my thinking. What if this wasn't a period simply to endure, but an opportunity for transformational change. And indeed it has been. What have we learned? Firstly, to slow down. Life was crazy pre-COVID. Every weekend in our calendar was booked up with rushing around, this and that, no time to stop and breathe. All of a sudden, we have blank pages in the diary. We've learnt to connect more with our neighbours or our community. We've had to offer help to our elderly neighbours who've needed food and medicine during this time. And more challenging for me, we've also had to accept help at a time when we couldn't leave the house. We've also grown in our appreciation of nature. Firstly, because when we weren't allowed out of the house, we really missed being outdoors. And then, when our movements out of the house were restricted to one work, walk per day, we were hugely grateful for nature at its most beautiful, as it happened at that time. And we've learnt to do with less as well. Although our food bill has been astronomical during this time, actually we've learnt that materially we need less. So this has indeed been a transformational time. And rather than responding now reactively to how we want to return, yes, we've had to pivot our businesses, yes, there will be challenges ahead, but actually we can also be proactive in creating the change that we want to see, both individually and collectively, because each of us has the power to flap our wings and create from this the change that we wish to see in the world.